Hello everybody, welcome back to Lear of the Overmind for part 24 and what could be the finale, maybe, of my pacifist run in Undertale. I was just running back to try and get a hold of Alphys, but on the way, I got called by Undyne, so I figured I'd start up here instead of over at Alphys' lab so nobody misses anything. So, uh, hey, this is Undyne! Shut up, Papyrus! This was your idea! Human, you have to deliver something for me! Uh, please? I met Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk! Okay, so I guess we have to go to Snowden. I will be right back. Alright everybody, we made it back to Snowden and Papyrus's house. Let's see what hijinks that we're gonna get into now. Hey, I have something to give you! But you're carrying way too much! Okay, so I need to get rid of one of my clam burgers. Um, so, I have a favor to ask. Uh, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh, why don't I do it myself? Aw, oh, somebody's a shy Nancy. Um, well, it's, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks, I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. <laughs> God, Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much, you're the best. Well, let's read it. <laughs> nope. Oh my god, I'm gonna freaking kill you! <laughs> Not in front of her, of course. Undyne writes a lot of letters, but she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she can go back and rewrite. So that's why she asked you. Because you have no standards! <laughs> god. Yeah, well, you're not wrong, I guess. So, all right, so we got to take this to Dr. Alfie's. Just go back up this way and talk to the river boatman to have him take us back. Care for a ride? Yes, please. Where are we going to go? To Hotland. We're off. Thank you very much. Oh, he's a, he's a dog. He's a dog boat. Troll -la -la, dancing on a boat is danger, but good exercise. Yep. <laughs> yep, it is. That dogs. Come again. Tra la la. <laughs> Alright, back at Hotland, so let's deliver this letter to Alfie's. The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter under. Sure. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh, oh no, is that another letter? I don't want to open it. C can't I just slide it back out? D no, I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. No, oh, that didn't sound good. <laughs> like she lasered the doors. Hey, if this is a joke, it's... It's me. Oh my god. Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god, oh no. That's adorable. And I had no idea you all wrote that way. It's surprising, too. After all the gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less, um, this? So, I'm guessing Undyne wrote her a love letter. and Or wrote him. Him, her... I think it's a her. That got spoiled for me. I'll just... Yeah. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so now she thinks we love her instead. It's a fun dynamic, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> and so passionately, too. Oh, geez. Must have been pretty serious. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Oh, date start. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, maybe not? Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. Oh, got a dress. <laughs> How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway, let's do this thing. Dating, start! Hey, hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating, stop? <laughs> um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. Uh, this isn't a dating sim. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date, right? 
Anyway, uh, d don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that. That's for Undyne, I'm guessing. But, also bought some water waterproof cream for your scales. Yeah, I think it's mutual between the two of them. Your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I, um, uh, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Dating. Start. Yeah, let's, uh, date. What's up? Yep. Ah, uh, do you like anime? Yes. Hey, hey, me too. Yep. Hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. To <laughs> what? It's random. Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> she's really, uh... Oh no. That's her over there. She, I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well, oh no. Here she comes. Conveniently shaped trash can? Not really. <laughs> hey, there you are. I, uh, realized if you delivered that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? <sighs> have you at least seen her? Yep. She's behind that trash can. Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than like I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know... It'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better? Man, that is not cool. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. Undyne's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But, I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. Oh, jeez fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I told her so many lies she thinks I'm... she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... she'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her how you feel. The truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? Or a truth where neither of us are? They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever it makes people like me. Heh. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. I'm scared of what will happen if I let people know the truth about me on their own. Mess that up. Jeez. They all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm gonna mess it up. How can I practice? Obviously, that's roleplay. Roleplay? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be Undyne? You'll be Undyne. Me? Undyne? Uh, 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 okay. I'll say what I think she'd say to you. Um, show me what I'm supposed to do. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hey, Alphys, you look cute today. Which I say often, but methodically, because I would never like you. <laughs> Yo, you're one hot, hot baby. What? Uh, Alphys? What's gotten into you? Hot baby? How dare you call me that? First off, I'm a baby knight. Captain of the babies. <laughs> Treat my position with respect or I will strike you down. I now pretend that I'm suplexing a boulder for no reason. <laughs> it's cool they, they work that in. Um, anyway, what do you want to say, Alphys? Alphys gives you a kiss. What? I would never! Alphys, what are you doing? I say, pushing you away from me? You shouldn't kiss me. But you're so good at it. Because of what you learned from those dating video games. I can't help but kiss you back. Yeah! Yeah! I'm undone and I'm piling on the snooches. Oh, bad timing. <laughs> 
What did you just say? Ah, uh, uh, I died. I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but... I mean, actually, we weren't only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean... I mean, Undyne, I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. Oh, jeez, no. <laughs> really, I just used it being ice cream, but those human history books I keep reading, those are all donkey comic books. And the history movies, those... Those are just... Uh, anime. They aren't real. And the time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I was just eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas, and that time I... Alfie's. I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool, that I wasn't some dirty loser. Alfie's. Undyne, I, I really think you're neat, okay? Alfie's. Um. Uh, what the... the heck? Alfie's! I... I think you're neat too, I guess. But you gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is. You care about it. 100% of maximum power. So you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alfie's, I want you to help you to become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Oh no, you're gonna be a little too extreme. I'm dying, you. you you're gonna train me? <laughs> what? Me? Oh no. No, I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Oh jeez. Get those bones shaken! <laughs> it's time to jog a hundred laps, hooting about how great we are! <laughs> Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Uh, uh Undyne. I'll, I'll, I'll do my best. Oh, jeez. Oh my god! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Enemy's real, right? Enemy's real, yep. Haha! <laughs> I knew it! Gigantic swords, magic princesses, here I come! She's going nuts. Uh, thanks for taking care of Alfie's. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. Oh, how nice. Now we can make our way from the dump back to wherever. I suppose. Piles of garbage. Well, uh, that was quite an interesting date. Waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of garbage or trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of garbage, it fills you with determination. Okay, so I guess, I mean, I have to make my way back, I suppose? I mean, whatever. Ring. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus, you're also a mutual friend. Alfie's and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go there. To her. Lab. House. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. Okay. So I guess we still have stuff to do. I feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and bring the video to a close here, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All the good stuff. Share with your friends. Get them into the cool Undertale feels. And I'll see you all for the next episode.